Uh, hello, everybody. You're watching How I Met Your Mother. Uh, God, I feel like I'm on the radio. Uh, I'm, uh, it's uh, 11 o'clock, uh, traffic uh, on the ones. Uh, I'm Carter Bays, executive producer, creator, uh, creator, and uh, to my right, that, that's me. That <laughs> is Craig Thomas. That's Craig Thomas. That's me. Gloria Calderon Kellett. That's that my the, uh, my wife Rebecca was the writer of the episode. Okay, so it's it's me and it's oh, Craig it's here on my right, and then on my left here is the lovely and talented director of every episode on this DVD, Miss Pam Fry. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. That is not me. Yeah, I ship out tomorrow. Two years. Pam's what makes this you know, show good. The <laughs> That's exactly what my mom says. <laughs> yeah. This uh, this this episode is particularly, as we say, Friday. Oh, watch Jason. Watch Jason. Watch Jason. Because yes. the this is this is the performance yeah. of the season Jason's right here. Jason's story in this episode is that he loves this cake, so and you can see him in the background <laughs> beginning the story <laughs> of loving this, is this cake. Him. Look at him there. Just his Ted. <laughs> That's some good cake. Right. Oh, this is a, we, we have two of our characters falling in love in the same scene. <laughs> I, used, I, I used all my daytime experience for that. Yeah. There's <laughs> Ryan who comes from the world of daytime television soap operas. Yes. This is basically That's how she got we made started. an episode of that's Santa it. Barbara here. Oh. <laughs> Anytime you Which see a slow I, push in, that's a slow that's, that's a daytime. That's right? exactly I just right. want to say uh, when I was in school, oh. I actually would go home every day and at 3:30 for whatever reason I would watch Santa Barbara. I don't know why. I there, I just said I just, you just that, it, the world now knows that you and, just made some people very and happy. That was that was that when I first fell in love with Pam Fry. Seriously. My stomach was like. Hey, you just admitted that on tape. I, hey, it's. <laughs> you had my grandchildren will hear that, <laughs> and they'll be like, yeah, "What was Santa Barbara?" My was like, don't know, don't know. <laughs> it's underwater now, kids. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the city on Earth with that. Uh, <laughs> Most amazing night ever. And on the surface of Earth. You know, I should tell you, I have a rule. Ashley Williams. The wonderful Ashley Williams. Yes, Lovely and yeah, we, this is our first time meeting. Well, now, well, we saw her at the end of the previous episode. Romantic. Do we get in to show yeah. all of the things that we cut out of this episode? I don't think we do. Uh, there is a what, lot of what are you stuff. thinking? There's like, like just a, the stuff at the bar when they first. You know, oh, there was a whole oh, scene of them. Right, there was a scene. That's yeah, right. We, there was, we were going to do deleted scenes, but. They were just, you know, we deleted them. <laughs> it was just too much trouble to go back, <laughs> we erased, to be honest. We taped over them, I remember. So we're sort gone. of just phoning this whole DVD yeah. thing in, Pam. That would have been a lot of effort. We should really, uh, you know, I, I should say right up front here, like, the whole making of this episode in particular was just the gooeyest love fest you, you could ever believe, because... Uh, we're all just a bunch of saps, and it really was. Just, we proved that on this episode. It was like uh, me and Craig and Pam and uh, Janet Kagan, our script supervisor, and uh, Gloria, the writer of the episode, and it's just us, like just just the girls, you know, eating Hagen Dazs and. <laughs> It was, it was and, a, this, whole, this whole Santa Barbara thing is making a lot more sense all of a sudden. We were doing scenes over just and over again after hair. we already had them done. Could you do it again for us? <laughs> just one more time. I'm here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Romantic wedding. Why don't we just dance and have a great time? Carter is tapping his feet, and it's getting picked up on the microphones. That's what just happened. Yeah. It's, this music uh, really gets him going. It does. Yes. I got the music in me. I just want to dance. No phone numbers, not even names. Tonight. I really like Josh. Josh this is, I thought, one of Josh's best episodes. Absolutely. He's just, he really just turned on this yeah. sort of charm and confidence that was just great to see. Back on this night. It's hard to pull off uh, a guy actually hearing this uh, this proposition and not wanting to kill himself. So. <laughs> okay, I'm in. And I think Josh does it pretty well. So. That's how desperate he was. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can call me Buttercup. Oh, listen carefully. Oh. You Buttercup. I'm Lando Calrissian. <laughs> what are many Star Wars <laughs> dark references yeah. <laughs> littered throughout <laughs> season one of How I Met Your Mother? Look, You'd all be amazed how much time we waste in the writer's room right, talking about Star look, Wars. We're nerds. Oh, and I watched Santa Barbara when I was in <laughs> Did I mention that? Victoria. But no last name. No Everything's last a clue name. in this. You never know what you're going to have to remember. Pam, how did you direct Josh in this episode? Was it basically just be a charming bastard? I said, go. Be funny when it's appropriate. <laughs> it he just, really he ran with night. that. I'm never going to see her again, and there's no way to ruin it. Look at how adorable he is. Last night I ate the best cake in my life. <laughs> <laughs> out of my life. See, for the, the ordinary oh, viewer geez. not listening to this commentary, you probably missed the part where he ate the cake and fell in love with it. So now you're way ahead of it at this point because of this incredibly incisive commentary we're doing. This is the ultimate TiVo episode. <laughs> it really is. Go back and just watch that now let's see again and again. I've heard so much about. Ashley looks good. She looks great. 
charming. Again with the drinking. Pam, we have so much drinking on this show. That's what we're realizing as we Not do this commentary. Not in season two. Not at 8 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good plug. Bartender, I'll have a nice tea. Slot. And we, we couldn't get the actual couple back for this episode, so you don't see you conveniently <laughs> don't see them kissing there. But we had great craft that service that yeah. week. <laughs> that would have cost money. Tradition. So we didn't do that. You're not going to do it at your wedding? Oh, yeah, I'm going to take that flower grenade and chuck it into the crowd and scream, flower grenade. call for it, bitches. <laughs> I love Allison so whenever excellent. she says, whenever she says bitch or bitches. So where'd you guys go? It's just funny. Yeah. Check out those shoes. Look at that hoofing. She was so nervous Santa about Barbara. She's got some gams, that one. <laughs> look at the lighting. Oh, look, 1940s okay, that Carter. Piano, this, is, yeah. this is the perfect, like, uh... Who is playing an example that? Of, who Excuse is me, who no, that? No, that? that wasn't me. I, I know, but I, it wasn't for part of it. I think, uh, yeah. Basically, we put the piano on the set just so... You could play it for everybody. So I could just... Basically, wank, I think, is the word. <laughs> um, <laughs> can I say that? Is that PG-13? Is that? Not at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Oh man, We're look at that. Kids. Oh damn. <laughs> if, if a last kiss, minute ad, but a good one. And I bet yeah. in yeah. the world of like composition, Ooh, that is a piece of music that has a title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one little yeah. hit. Somebody just got paid. <laughs> somebody just called, got paid for that. Yeah, someone just got paid. Yeah. I think John Cage wrote That's that. Ca- I think the title of that is Ted's Angst. Yep. Yeah. Slow push. By Ted's the way, at this point, up. at this point, Carter was a. We were both a mess. To it. Yeah, because yeah. you were on stage right for this. Yeah, that's right. I didn't get to be on set for the love like fest. A oh. Big drum roll. So there it is. That was a the title. Gloria Calderon Kellett, an excellent writer. Did her best. Came up with the drum roll concept. But we can't kiss. Stole it as a story from her own life, I believe. And uh... watch this almost kiss. I mean, come on. Come on, damn. Look at that. There's a drum roll. Oh. It's important to cast people who can take a close up. A drum yeah. roll? That was a total... The worst thing is that uh, King so of Queens what, had basically the same scene night? that <laughs> night also. And it really was, it was awkward. Formed a drum solo? It's always good to uh, break up a nice tenor moment with a nice masturbation <laughs> reference. Yeah. She was That's amazing. our Carter. She was amazing and funny and... We connected on every level, and I'm never going to see her again. Oh, Ted. Damn it, I have to see her again. You sure do. Yes. The Rob okay. Greenberg? Oh, yes. yeah. The yes, the uh, Rob Greenberg, uh, consulting producer. Uh, he was executive producer on the pilot. And uh, that's kind of his catchphrase. Is, uh, he says things. He, he says yes, but he always says it as though he's already said it three times. Like if you say, hey, Rob, you want to go get lunch? Yes. <laughs> it's the first time you've asked him, but it's like, uh, I've been saying, I want to get lunch. He also uses it when Carter and I are really overthinking things in the writer's room. Should we do this? Do you think we should do this idea? Yes, shut up. Yeah. You're making me want to kill myself. That's the, that's the Greenberg. The show owes a lot to Rob Greenberg. He's a talented guy. Here's your spinoff. <laughs> yeah, these guys are great. These guys are really good. Matt Boren is, a, in addition to being a very funny actor, is a great writer. He, uh, he's a playwright. Uh, no, her name was Victoria. I don't know her last name. Yeah, they were really funny together at this couple. Oh, that's why we, that's why I brought him back, and yeah. maybe we'll see him again. Who knows? Unlucky for you, there was no Victoria at my wedding. Goodbye, Ted. Uh oh, another piece of the puzzle. Da, da, da. There was no Victoria at the wedding. Maybe she used a second fake name. Oh, she's good. She's very good. Maybe she was a good Another thing I noticed about the show, in addition to heavy to drinking, is there's just a lot of people in pajamas or bathrobes. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of pajama action in the show. <laughs> They're just phoning it in. And Jason's in his bathrobe a lot, so much so that I remember more than once giving the instruction, like, bring, bring the knees a little close together, buddy. Yeah. You're, uh, we're getting a close-up we don't want. Maybe they know who she was. Great. And then Pam pushes in on it, and it's a whole I, yeah. thing. Look, we all have, you know, our weaknesses. <laughs> this better be good. I am about to enter Nirvana. By the way, I should get Nirvana. This Nirvana. woman called her entire family and said she was going to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's good. That's some serious feet acting right there. She had that a pedicure. Was pretty, uh, she was, like, dangling from a wire or something, wasn't she? She was holding onto a bar. Yes. Yeah. You know I won't. Why not? 
because we just hooked up last night. I so they didn't continue yeah. the conversation past why not yeah, until it was, now. It was why not? Forever. Meet me at the bar and I'll tell you. <laughs> they all sit down, they order drinks, they like get about halfway through their drinks. Okay, let's go back to that previous conversation. Okay, why not? <gasps> we shot all that and it just <laughs> it slowed down the story. Exactly not a good cause. Sorry, buddy, I wish I could help you. My hands are tied. Oh no, wait, that was last night. <laughs> the whip sound, all Neil. Neil, uh, that whip sound was not in the script. That's just, you know, made that joke way better. To Foxy Boxing. I think I got that shirt that Josh is wearing, too. <laughs> in addition to the jacket from Pineapple, I'm we just a we whore just looted and pillaged. I really do think I have that shirt. Man, that's ugly. Yeah, I know. It sucks. The ugly side of showbiz. You were a day I get to help people. Neil is very funny. Neil is Neil Patrick Harris. Things it's fantastic. really hard to like uh, write a character that's such a basically a, a, a douchebag and still like him. And uh, can I say that word? I, yes. I really I don't. You probably have a standards can. person here. But, so what do you want to do next? But it's hard to like that guy, and Neil's just so likable. Hold these shoes. These shoes, which will be an important detail coming up. Remember this moment. Look at the skillful planting of those shoes. There she goes. That's what we call deep frying. <laughs> Thank That's you. That's the technical that term. Shoes. <laughs> this was so we described much fun deep to frying uh, earlier, <laughs> Pam. Just so you yeah. know, we really did wow. describe the whole yeah. frying yeah. concept. Okay. <laughs> Any idea who? Okay. Well, Shooting okay. this episode was like a vacation. It was so much fun. Oh, it was just so much fun. Well, I'm shipping out pretty early, so I won't be able to stay over. But yeah, sure, I'd love to. Look at what you wrote. Are you are you proud of yourself? <laughs> Look at Barney. Barney's always it. finding a way to, to get himself some. Okay, uh, let's not lose hope. We'll call the hotel. Maybe she's staying Peace there. Peace Corby damned. We'll have him check the registry for anyone named Victoria. This is one of the or best Jason lines. I know. Oh, hang up. There it is. This is classic Siegel. Probably doesn't go by. Immediately realizing maybe that wasn't no, you know what? a great thing to say. This is fate. I am never supposed to see this girl again. That was the whole point of the night. I've just been Here's fate. Fate is a character on the show. The universe is a character on the show, basically. It's free will versus fate. That oh, book there so is a, a, a Pure Ducky Goodness by Dave Kellett, uh, who is Gloria's husband. Product placement. <laughs> and we specifically had Allison, yeah. if you see the beginning of that scene, laughing she, at it. Like, this is a great book. <laughs> Which yeah, it is. We actually shot it. There was a we longer did. take where it's just her like She's reading it and just, just laughing. laughing. Saying to herself, boy, pure ducky goodness. Available online, twelve ninety five. dollars Yeah. Uh, it's a good book. It probably is available online. We I should, think it uh, is. If we had the address. I know. It. It'd be better if we knew. But we uh, Kobe's so good. I can't believe what a good actress she is. I, all of them. You know who I, I, she I always is. feel bad singling one of them out because we, we got a good can't. cast, Pam. Actually, we got a good cast. And Pam makes it all work. <laughs> yes, it's all me. Well, it's all Pam. That's what that's what's coming that's out. That's the larger message. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this moment. Hubba hubba. Heartbroken. Ugh. Look at her. At that point, Carter was on the floor. <laughs> I was really drunk though. <laughs> I believe the crew left a surprise for Kobe in that stall on the first take. <laughs> what was that? I'm just saying. I uh, I actually there was something. There was something placed in the toilet for her. Yeah. Oh, God. Nice. I actually learned that those were not practical toilets. <laughs> the hard way. <laughs> yeah. So we had to stop production for about an hour. I was really embarrassed. I've been told I'm an excellent hugger. Oh, thanks. Um, it's hard to see her cry. It's it is so hard. very hard to see her cry. And when you see Allison cry in an episode, just like, what are we doing? I mean, Why are we doing this to people? We made her do it more than once. Too. And for someone who's not an actor, like, when you watch this and you're, and you're ten feet away from it, it's just, it makes you just so, like, impressed by just acting, about the craft of acting. I mean, how do you do that? How do you just cry like that? I don't know. Maybe? That's a big moment right there. Maybe she has feelings for Ted. Seriously, he likes you and you like him, and just 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 be together. Allie was great. Jeez, Louise, happiness is not that difficult. Oh, look. Oh, okay. I love that. Yes, I cried in the bathroom, and that was weird. Happiness that is not that difficult, folks. The the Should have just I ended the episode right there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. Seeing him with someone else and crying. Exactly how you feel. What? That's how you feel. That is nothing but how you feel. Okay, fine, I have feelings for him. Happy? 
Kind of, yeah. I love that. Uh, I love how Lily uh, is just such a cheerleader of get them together, we'll double date, <laughs> we'll, we'll be the two happiest couples of all time. I love how she just roots for them. What I should do is just tell him who Victoria is so he can be happy. Or you could tell him that you're into him and then you could both be happy. I'm going to go find him. That's a crazy necklace she's got on. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. Which one are you going to tell him? That's what all the kindergarten teachers are wearing. I have no idea. <laughs> Allison's one of those kindergarten teachers who makes like two hundred fifty thousand dollars <laughs> yeah. to spend on wardrobe. A board of ed. That's like the typical starting. <laughs> and Barney got paid for sex. So it all worked out. See, the Peace Corps thing comes back later. Um, everything in another comes episode. back later. Sure. What's up? Man. If only that phone hadn't rang. I'll just get it. That phone ringing is just a problem for Ted. Ted? Yeah, in you numerous should, episodes. You should destroy that. Like you should just... <laughs> oh, she's great. Ted. Ted. I'm sorry I hung up on you earlier. My new husband and the vodka cranberry, which... I did not get the shirt that guy's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to give it to me and I said no. Um, Creepy. <laughs> What exactly does Stuart see in her? I just want to know. <laughs> that I don't know. Times I can act like a crazy person, and I don't want my new husband. It's interesting in this the story person. of this episode. You think it's going to be it's Kobe fine. telling him something that will move the story oh, forward, uh, but actually it's this <laughs> it's this phone call. You guys got that cake. Cake. Oh. The Kaiser Soze moment. Put it together. Thanks. We like doing stuff like this, where you go back and see stuff again and has a new meaning. We got it at this little bakery downtown. Actually, neither. It's called the Buttercup Bakery. Pleased to meet you, Buttercup. And it all comes together. She made the cake. She made the cake. It it should be noted here that when we read the script, this was the part of the script that they had the problem with. Remember, we were concerned that it wasn't going to make sense. Yeah, it was very... It's one of those things that on the page, you know, you see, like, cutting back and forth between nine different scenes, and... But it cut together. It worked. So did. (laughs) Oh, Jason. He's so worked up about the cake. Busting my apple bag. Busting my apple bag. God, I love that expression. That has just so entered my vocabulary. Wasn't that one of our writers was talking about how that was a phrase when he was growing up? <laughs> yeah. Or his family said, like, That's... in the South or something? Yeah. It's, it's a colloquialism from, yeah, like, from somewhere in the yes. South. Ted. Tell him. Tell him, Robin! Go. Damn it, Robin! Oh. Oh. Gosh, I love this moment. You know why? Because I'm going to say it, and this time you're actually going to say yes. You ready? You ready to say yes? Ted, suit up! Yes! <laughs> no. Psych. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's a series long arc of Barney trying to get Dad to put on a suit. Oh, that's too bad. God, I hope there's uh, some source music on a table somewhere. <laughs> For conveniently <laughs> located. Oh, look. I'm surprised no one yelled at hey, us. Hey, let's about listen that. to the, uh, the uncopyrighted music channel. <laughs> Now, the idea was we had, like, workers walking away, and you saw that, so it was clearly their boombox. We tried to soften how yeah. obvious it was just setting a boombox there. You know I'm, not sure. I'm not just sure. Just believe. Just it's, yeah, sure. it's a magical night, and there's music, wow. and Hollywood there's is dancing. The, Hollywood's a land of dreams. Yeah, you know what? She or never has to brush her hair for it to look good. This just, it just works. Got me. Yeah. You are good. You know, I don't look like this every day. On a this real was definitely our like biggest that. romantic yeah. comedy yeah. sweet yeah. Aw Shucks episode of the season. Mm. Little James Bond thrown in there. Yeah. Look at him. Ted is a smooth bastard in this episode. Too bad I'll never get to see it. Kiss her, you fool. Buttercup Bakery. This is it. I love cabs. (laughs) Our cast is always good in a cab. They always just look good in a cab. As long as it's not a limo. Yeah, limos, not so much. <laughs> Although that, 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 yeah, the they look good in a limo. That's just amazing. Damn pain in the shoot. ass to make that episode, but that's not this one. This and just a little shout out, the bakery in this that we'll see in a second is very much based on the Magnolia Bakery in New York. I think I'm allowed to say that, uh, which has awesome cupcakes down in the West oh, Village. I used to live right near there. What's that? I'm going to go home tonight with a lot of great memories and one really sucky memory. The memory of you walking out that door. 
If you are not affected by this episode, you need to go to your doctor immediately. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. I love stuff like I mean, this di- this whole dialogue, this scene, it's it's like a it's like a Billy Wilder movie, you know? It's like what? People don't talk like that anymore. It's very classic. You old walking school. out that door, like yeah, nobody yeah. talks like that. <laughs> yeah, it's but like, in a good way. I say that in a good way. It's it's very Bogart. Five. That was always one of our goals to make the show kind of feel like like an old movie at times. Oh, hold your heart. Oh man. Uh, there it is. The the Mosby. The, the Mosby. The Mosby heart grab. <laughs> it's perfect. That is a Josh Radner original. It is. There's so many things going from the pilot. But this is the one thing that never will. It, it, it will always. And this is what you do so well. Always. You stop this moment. Adulterated, awesome. If I walk in there, I'm robbing both of us. What could the be? The meter's running, dude. Crap! <laughs> the I love that. <laughs> that is the show right oh, there. Ted getting it. all romantic and Barney telling him to shut the hell up. Oh, this moment. And there she was. What's going to happen? Is she going to be happy to see him? With this music playing? (laughs) Ah, look at them. I love the thank God. Oh, thank God. She was waiting for him. Okay, Very I, sweet, I guys. have chills right now, I swear to God. <laughs> I know. This is uh, it's great watching this again. I knew what was going to happen. That was seriously oh, deep fried. That, that was, was like you deep fried it, then you put was... it back in, put a whole other layer of fried. You know what? That was tempura, that. is what that was. Yeah. <laughs> that was a tempura donut. <laughs> that was a donut dumped into. Oh, okay, that's disgusting. Thank you. For Thanks, that. everybody. Thanks, Thanks Pam. Everybody. Thanks for directing Pam the show, Pam. Pam. Thanks for letting Yay. me. We are so lucky to have Pam. Thanks, everybody.